Hey everyone, it's Adam from Precise Pet Care. I'm gonna go over importing from spreadsheets. Now, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure that your client fields and pet fields are set up the way that you want them to be. Now, they don't have to match the spreadsheet exactly, but you're gonna to want to have them include the data that you eventually want the system to have. So that is under administrative site options. And then if we scroll down to client fields or pet fields, this is where you can change the names of the fields and set them to show or to hide for clients or staff. So once you have that configured, we'll go to our pet care client profiles page and let's prep our spreadsheet. So we have here a basic spreadsheet with client information. You can, of course, have as much information as you want to import. Um, so you can have many more columns. The information does not have to be organized in any particular way. You just make, need to make sure that it, it is all there and it's, it's ready and saved as the right file. So to save it as the right file, I'm starting with a XLS, uh, Excel spreadsheet. And to import, they need to be a CSV, which is comma separated value. So in Excel, I'm gonna do a save as. It'll be similar if you have another spreadsheet program. And I'm gonna choose CSV. And then I'll save that. So now that file is ready to be import. And from our client profiles page, I'm gonna to go to tools, import, and I'm gonna choose that file, the CSV file. Now you can also paste data in. Uh, that's something that works a lot better if, if you have very limited data, say just a, a simple email list. Um, that's not gonna work with complex data like the client profiles. So I'll start the import. And you can see we have our imported columns here on the right. And the columns that are not being used in the import are just like that. The ones that are being used have a slash through them and the ones that are being used multiple times have a, have a slash through them and they're red. So I also want to check this, don't import the first row because it is the title row because we don't want a client named first name. So I'll click that. And now we're gonna choose which fields are matching the columns in the spreadsheet. So I'll import the name as the first name and the address should be, let me see, email address is gonna be email. And we have address still chosen twice. So our address is correctly, automatically set to address. And it is also set somewhere else. It is not the alternate email address. So I'm gonna set all to. And we can see we have all of our columns selected once, which is correct. Now you may also have columns which are required now, for the purpose of this import, I'm not going to um, add a cell phone column, but you would want to import that column as well. And the system will tell you if you have a, a required column that is not being imported. And this won't typically be the case for client profiles, but if there's any information that you want to set to the same thing for every profile, you can do so just by filling it in and set all to and then fill it in. And now that we've chosen all of our columns, we'll do continue. And now it's gonna have us match the data. So there, there may be some multiple choice columns that we need to make sure are, are matching up to uh, what's being imported. So you, Maine is correctly being selected as Maine and New Hampshire as New Hampshire. If you had a ME or a NH, you may have to also match those. And I will continue. Now it's just gonna give us a approval and it's gonna make sure that everything is set the way that we want it. So if we scroll over, we can make sure everything is matched up.
And once it is, we can click on the complete import button and that will then finish the importing of our clients. And here are all of our new clients that we've entered. Thanks for watching.